The Mark Dacey Show, brought to you on Broadband Box Office Network, coming to you directly from the East Coast at VK Media Studios. We stream live every second Monday of the month, and we're archived on iTunes. So, like us on Facebook. Now, enjoy the show. Oh, we're rolling? <laughs> what in the world? How in the heck? In this day and age? It's okay, my tongue is completely sanitized. And it's greenish. <laughs> why? 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 You ask yourself. Well, I don't know why. Why do I still buy blue and green toothpaste and blue and green mouthwash? I mean... Is there to imitate or intimate the look and smell of real mint? But chances are it's really not. It's just a color additive and maybe some kind of dye. And so you think, why should I go out and buy colored dye if my teeth want to be white? I, I ask you why. Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. Uh, to be your fearless leader in the war against deception. The war against deception. <laughs> To bring attention to my mistakes that I've made in my life, knowing that somehow someone might also be going through the same pain and embarrassment of uh, blue and, and green teeth, yellow uh, mouth, tongue thing. Sure, because of the fact that there's dye in your stuff and you don't, and so, and by making, by sharing this experience and reaching out, I can make a difference in someone else's life. <laughs> But mostly really because I have nothing better to do on Mondays and I have to make up stuff for the podcast. <laughs> By the way, have I welcomed everyone to the podcast? Welcome. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome. Please come in. Come in. Come in. Come into the podcast. Now you may be wondering why... I'm talking so <laughs> slow here at the beginning of the show. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I really didn't have time to create enough material to provide for a real show. And I kind of thought that I would take longer saying the words to make it appear as if it were a full length. Get used to it. <laughs> no, it's not, yeah, really. But no, I didn't. But anyway, actually, I was on vacation and I didn't. I wasn't thinking about writing the show. I was on vacation and I'm still recovering from an attack by a great white shark in the open water. <clears throat> While free diving, if you know what I mean. Well, no, not really. It was more like a moray eel in the lagoon. Well, that's not really that's not really true either. It was a uh, was more like an angry grouper uh, on my plate, and if you must know, it was it was a pissed off <laughs> it was a pissed off uh, little guppy in in the uh, aquarium at the lobby in the hotel. No, actually, I'll tell you what it was. The absolute truth is my wife and I had been enjoying our bi-yearly snorkel festivities on vacation down in the islands. 
Yeah, and we've seen a lot of underwater life, wildlife, including two very friendly sea turtles uh, at our little cove that we had. And as we were off again to another beach snorkel, we noticed a little lady shelling there by uh, the beach. And as we both entered the water, all confident and everything, with our shiny snorkeling gear and our rash guards and black fins and gloves, she says, Is there anything here I should be afraid of at the water's edge? I'm afraid to go in. And I say comically, well, just look out for the sea turtles, because they're mean, and they'll bite your toe off. Ha, 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 LOL. And then my wife and I fall into the next wave, and we kick off. We're no more than like I get like a minute into the swim when I meet up with this little cute streamlined blue and, and white of uh, striped mini fish. And when I entered the bay, my wife and I remarked how persistent this little fellow was, swimming right up to us and all. And, well, that didn't bother me. And my wife said, I'm not going in there with that fish. He's too friendly. So I swim out a little further and beckon her like Captain Ahab, you know, tied to the whale, <laughs> you know. The little fishy wouldn't bother us. No, no, not anymore. So I, I stood up in the shallows and I said, Come on in, the water's fine. And she says, It's on your leg! Ah! <laughs> so I look down, and there's this little fella that has attached itself to the inside of my leg. A remora suckerfish attached to my leg. Ah! <laughs> I had heard of these little tenacious devils of the sea. And when fishermen are hunting sea turtles, this is what they do. They tie a rope to the tail of a remora. They throw them back in the water near the sea turtles. And then when they approach the sea turtle, they suck securely onto the back of the turtle shell. This is how they hunt for turtles down there in the islands. And the fisherman then simply pulls back the rope. And with it, the turtle comes along. So vacuum-like is the sucking action of the remora. <laughs> Relentless, one might say. So when, in fact, the first bite was just a little bit too close to my fruits of the loom, if you know what I mean, I screamed and thrashed about in the water like a crazy little schoolgirl. <laughs> Somehow I dislodged it. But to no avail... It swam from side to side in front of me, daring to outthink my every move, playing with my deepest fear. Was it going to try to attach further up my ladder? <laughs> Would I then not be able to pull it off? Would I not want to yank it? Uh, what to do? What to do? Mm -hmm. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a <clears throat> bad case of sucking blues. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I mention there's no hospital on the island? Oh, my God. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> so now I've got this sucking fish on the inside of my upper thigh underneath my board shorts. And uh, you know, I'm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> mayday, mayday, no doctor on the island. Okay. I'm swimming in circles now, flailing my hands and feet. No use. This slippery little blue freaky Satan fish is now firmly attached to the inside of my thigh like some sort of slime thingy, ready to burrow its way into my skin and come out of my ear or something. Ah! I've seen the movies. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> now somewhere in the deepest recesses of my logical and heretofore forgotten runaway mind at this point, I somehow eke out a long ago, heretofore forgotten and hidden factoid. It just sort of comes to me. The only way to dislodge a remora suckerfish from your body is to push it forward from behind. <laughs> the only way to dislodge a remora suckerfish from your body is to push it forward. From behind. <laughs> okay. So I'll be pushing this little baby up a little further in the wrong direction towards the nethers of my wonderment. And how, gee, wow, I hope I get this right. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that. It just, it just kind of, and the word remember now takes on a whole other meaning. So I was remembered 
precisely at the right time about about this removal thing. So I swam thrashingly, crazily to the shore, a distance of approximately two miles. Well, more like 100 yards. Actually, it was it's about 40, 50 feet, I guess, but it certainly felt a lot longer. You tried doing that with something sucking on the inside of your thigh, moving God knows where else. So with this thing attached to my inner thigh, standing up in the shallows, I was in great hope that my factoid was, in fact, a fact. <laughs> so I cup my hands, and I think, I hope this goes right, and give the sucker a little push from my leg up from behind. And when I do so, I also whip around and gave it kind of like a little swivel thing, and I swing it out from underneath my board shorts onto the shoreline, boink, and behold, a miracle. <laughs> it falls out onto the sand. I tried to corner it, and, and I have some words uh, for the thing, but it, with a couple of quick flips of its flap, it's back in the shallows in a, in a hurry. The shell lady, who I have told, you know, you know, jokingly, uh, just worry about the sea turtles because they're going to bite your toes off. She's there. She's like, she's watching this whole thing. She's like uh, helpless. She's in shock, helpless, hopeless, and frozen, mouth open, <laughs> unable to utter a word. A lizard how somehow flowing out of my pants, and she's witnessed this. And so, as it turns out, to her, somehow, I knew that she knew I was a fake. Just, just a Jersey boy out for a swim with all the confidence and none of the experience. And she knew. And so we sleeked off to the tiki bar. I'll show you the scar later. So, time right now for the Wayback Machine. I'm thinking like 1980. I think, I think there's something I got from 1980. That's what I need. I need to feel young. Oh, Hank Williams. Remember Hank? Yeah. I want to give a little yank on Hank. Stand by. Why I find him. He's coming up in just a moment. Bear with us, won't you? While we... Ah, yes. Ah, yes, the old days. Yes, the old days. Young whippersnapper. Now, now I got a, something to read, and that's about it. <laughs> this portion, portion, this portion of the show, and the word show is in, in quotes here, just so that you know, is brought to you by Cadillac, because you should try and afford one, and, and make your son think he's entitled as well while you're at it. Have you seen the new Cadillac commercial? It's crazy, man. It, it's the dad and the kid. And by the way, uh, the kid is in the front seat. Okay. 
Um, and they're speeding quickly through the desert in the in in the dead of night toward a big moon. It's a Cadillac moon. They're like, you know, and the kids going, okay, dad, you know, and, and dad's kind of half smiling, like he's just ingested some shrooms, like he's going. And they're going like 100 miles an hour. And there's a big moon like on the horizon. It's not really, a, it's like a really, really big moon. <laughs> Have you seen it? Have you seen this commercial? Anyway, uh, uh, so, you know, what I, I, what I, what you don't hear, okay, is the subtext in the kid's brain while, while the dad is, is trying to launch the vehicle over the next ridge at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I believe it would go something like this. Uh, uh, the moon uh, and the kid's like <laughs> dad 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 <laughs> slow the fuck down are you nuts <laughs> that's not the size of the moon and guess what you're not in the desert it's the Walmart parking lot what are you on dad <laughs> Watch out for that shopping cart. Daddy! <laughs> now, I know that the Cadillac people will want to make sure that, you know, they want to make they want to make it look like you can get anything you want in life, even shoot the moon and 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 all and, and I'm down with that. We all want to look that good and have our you know, our collar turned up in the wind blowing in our hair and giving subtle smiles and encouragement to our to our children about achievement. There's nothing wrong there. But what I'm getting is buy this freaking car, even it's on the MasterCard, even it's on a, a Visa, even it's on a, 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 a an American Express. <laughs> Come and know the meaning of the word debt. Hey, you're the one that wanted to blast off to the moon, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, so did I say that right? Did I get this all right? I I don't even know if I said that whole correct. Anyway, insert blast from the past. Oh, yeah, like uh, you would be my best friend or something like that after you heard this next song. I'm going back to 1980 again. I can't wait. I can't wait.
my best friend's girl. Man, that used to knock him out. That used to knock him out in the days back then. He used to love that. My best friend's girlfriend used to be mine. Kind of a funny play on words, <laughs> as, as it were. Bobby Vinton, uh, get that out of your mind. In the spirit of wanting to save you from pain and embarrassment, besides telling you that you should always carry around one of those antibacterial gels <laughs> in the bottle, you know, because I don't know how our ancestors ever got through like all the germs that they were living in. Well, actually, they're dead, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. That's something to think about, huh? They didn't have the antibacterial gel <laughs> to get them through. They had shorter lifespans, didn't they? Yeah, they had shorter lifespans. Okay, so, uh, oh, yeah, if you're a budding new musician, singer, songwriter, you know, kind of person, and, and, you're, and you're singing songs that are, like, in the high note type uh, song thingy, um, I, I have some, some uh, uh, advice for you. You might want to reconsider. Yeah, because, like, if you're looking ahead to, like, singing those songs when you're, like, 60 or, or 70, uh, chances are you're not going to be able to hit those notes. <laughs> you're not going to, you're not going to be, Leo, uh, perfect example, Leo Sayer, great. Uh, he, st he used to sing it like, You make me feel like dancing. I want to dance the night away. You make me feel like dancing. I want to dance. I feel like dancing. Woo! Dancing. Woo! Dance the night away. Woo! I feel like dancing. Woo! Dancing. Woo! Dancing. Woo! You got a cute way of talking. You know what I'm talking about, right? That song? Huh? 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 <laughs> well, it's, it's high. It's a very high song. Well, now nowadays uh, he can't can't really it's like he's seventy five years old. He really can't can't get up to those notes. So uh, <laughs> so it's now it's it's more like the Hula Hoop Club in downtown Camden proudly presents Leo Sayer. You make me feel like dancing. I want to dance the night away. You make me feel like dancing. I feel like dancing. Ho, oh, dancing. Who dance the night away. Come on, kids, sing it. You know what? <laughs> you get that. <laughs> uh, so I'm just saying. Frankie Valley is down at the Borgata right now going, Sherry, Sherry, baby, ooh, Sherry. <laughs> so here's the idea. Write them low, write them real low, so that, you know, when, you, when you, have you seen Roger Daltrey lately? God, it's, it's like painful. I see, you know, it's like, they don't waste it, which is what he used to be able to see. They don't waste it. Now he's thinking like, they're all wasted. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's true. It's happening all around me. I can't. It's driving. So this is my thing. So start out writing the songs really low. You know, whatever song that, that you got going. Um, you, you say you're a lover. I'm a true believer. And people go, oh, that's a great song. That's, that's real good. I like I like how that song goes. Just kind of like right, right there. And then when you get older, like when you're in your 60s or 70s, you'll be able to hit the higher notes. You can bring it up. You, you'll, you'll, be able to you'll be able to raise the key and really, really wow your audience. They'll be going, oh, my God, he can sing higher. He's going in the reverse direction. <laughs> kind of like I like that. I'm just trying to save you pain and embarrassment. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to save time. I'm trying to save time. I'm trying to save time, energy, whatever else I can. I, I'm storing it in the back seat of my car, and it's pretty darn full right now, if you know what I mean. But I still have time for you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the message has been brought to you by Mark Dacey Save Pain and Embarrassment Organization, Corporation Thingy dot com. Me. Mark Dacey, or as I'm known in the uh, in the rap community, uh, Puff Snooty, notorious doggy, doctor, do daddy, little biggie buster, hoochie cool, sweet ramen, Marky D. Shakura dot com. <laughs> hootie hootie. Um, no, not really. But any reproduction or rebroadcast of any portion of this part, of course, is strictly prohibited and subject to a fine of. 
I don't know, five years or 200,000 miles, whichever comes first. So, oh, where were we? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. After we come back from this little break, we, uh, you know, we have our, 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 we have our, our house band will be joining us. Our house band will be joining us. Don't go away. Right after this PSA. Honey, gather up the dependents. I'm star. The what? The two dependents we claim. Be a good spouse and bring them to the table. Have you finished the taxes yet? Of course, my lovely 223 dash. Honey, my social security number starts with 233. You haven't mailed the taxes yet, have you? Please double-check each name and social security number on your U.S. income tax form. Include the correct first name, middle initial, and last name of all dependents, along with their correct social security numbers, because just one wrong name or number could delay your tax refund. I was too busy acting like a big shot. I didn't double-check. Oh, sweetheart. Last night when you were out bowling, I made the corrections. You did? Oh, honey, I'm nuts about you. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. witness bullying. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. 
Hey, folks. How can I help you tonight? Billy Wellman is the house band. And folks are asking, who are you? They want to know who's the bass player. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, unless you have any more ado, do you? No, in fact, the, the less I do, the better off I am. Actually, yes. If you really want to know the truth. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, what about you? Me? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm due. I am due. <laughs> there you do. I'm due. We got like one shot here at the wrong place in the show. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, uh, yes. people have written in questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for yeah, you. So, so the, I mean, are you game? All right, so uh, how about if we play a little game? All right, why don't we play a little question, answer, back, forth, and will, will people find out about you, what they really think yeah. about? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Good thing I thought of that. Yeah, okay. I'm with okay. you. All right. All right. <clears throat> So this one's from uh, Joe Brennan in Pennsylvania. They really can hear us in Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah. They can hear us all around the world. Joe. 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 Joe, pay attention. Is that you, Joe? Joe, wake up. Which camera is it? Good. Joe? Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't Am watch it. Am I anyway. really supposed to read this stuff? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sorry. He asks, what's the global economic effect derived from the improved plastic extrusion methods in the mid-20th century Japanese reconstruction period? Um, hold on, I have to find that on this paper. Um, uh, where is it? Right there. Okay. Um, four transistor radios and these tiny plastic Godzillas. Yeah. Yeah, and do you know what? No. I, I know how to do uh, the, the thing with the, the noise that Godzilla makes in the movie. Really? You want to hear it? No. No, come on. No. Come on, it's really good. He's, he's really, he made this stuff that I have to read this on the air, it's really bad. It's great. Right. So okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, okay. All right, here I go. Yeah. This is Godzilla, right? Uh, you'll know it when you hear it, right? Also, my lamp at, back home, I have this swivel lamp, makes the same exact noise. But you know, I, I, I can bring it. I'm kind of mobile. I'm like a mobile Godzilla. So here you go. Like, <laughs> 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 That's kind of like where. It, yeah, That's you know? really Mark in the bathroom. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Well, not taking a shower. Sorry. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Our second question yeah. comes from Don McClay in Hackensack oh, and Suzanne Marie Buchan Powell in Llewellyn Park. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Both right asked, here in West Orange. Right here, nice wow. over the hill through the <laughs> dale. Do you know where that is? Oh. Uh, no. Okay. It's something so, to do with the Civil War, right? Yes, exactly. So okay. uh, the question is, uh -huh. uh, what do you think of uh, Miley Cyrus, Ted Nugent, and Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to answer that? Yes. Really? Yes. Ask um, the question. Uh, I like them all. Really? You know, one way or another. Really? Not, not necessarily in that order. No. No. Okay. You know. All right. So here's a. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. There's no simple yes or no. No. No, actually, not, not not to that question. Especially with those characters. No, I know all of them too. Uh, they'll be on the show next week. Wow. Okay. Our next question is from Carol Gudermuth from Ontario, and she asks. How do you like your wings? Spicy or or mild? Oh man. Yeah. Spicy. Spicy? Spicy. Really? Yeah, spicy. And that's... extra well done. Oh, well that's not Is in that the script. Too? No. <laughs> I don't know where we are. I don't know. <laughs> um page three. Well spicy, no mild. No, wait. It oh. depends. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'd like to do that. I'm supposed to do that. Hold on. Wait a minute. Go ahead. I agree. Maybe if I throw it over this Call my better. agent. <laughs> Hello. What should we call him? Hold on. Okay. There is my mm. Where is my agent? It's a secret. That's right. That would be a secret agent. <laughs> this would be a throw for our illustrious uh, director to put on the secret agent tape part of the inserted portion of the show. <laughs>
to take over economically because, economically speaking, America is the largest and the most wealthiest company in the world. And then therefore, well, this is important to them because this is the music that they're playing, you know, and, and what was said is he gave them all the antidote. And you think that they're dying of gas, but they're not dying of gas because he found out and they gave the end of the shoot or a gold finger in the ear. It's just one of those things I just thought they'd like to know that it's in the music from that part of the movie. Yeah. Didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> on the bass. Billy Women on the bass. Can I get in here? Billy Women on the bass, y'all. I'll, 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 I'll house hub and yell baby. So, got the thing we're gonna do from the long ago days. I had a video. I had a, sh I had a show. I, I had a life. I had a song. House Husband. Yeah, babe. It's a thing. <laughs> That's right. I can make eggs in a style, home fries and toast in a minute. I can shine your shoes, iron your ensemble, make damn sure that you're in it. Give you the morning paper with a kiss on the forehead to go. Mop the floor, fix the door, clean the place high and low. Wow! 
back and clean out the garage, back up the den in just an hour. Mow the lawn, write a song, all before my morning shower. Eat lunch, prepare dinner, make love to you, and then go to sleep for an hour and get up and do it again, cause I'm a house husband, H-U-S-P-A-N-D. I'm talking about me, cause I'm a house husband, um, 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 that would be me, uh-huh, most, most definitely. Pick up the mail, pick up your clothes, pick up the kids. Wait, what kids? Cancel country living, cancel dinner at Shirley and Sid's. Write down the answering machine message that'll never become only for you. Confirm with your brother, have lunch with my mother, and be back at the house before two. Cause I'm a house husband, H-U-S-P-A-N-D. I'm talking about me. Shampoo the rug, put out the dog, and bring in a cat. Cock the windows, tile the roof, tell Jehovah's Witnesses where I'm at. Welcome you home, leave you alone, make love till 10 p.m. Make sure that you're well fed, put you to bed, then start it all over again. Cause I'm a house husband, H-U-S-B-A-N-D. Talking about me? Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, yeah, I'm busy hard at work. I don't have a lot of time to talk. What's up? Did I get your note? No, I didn't get your note. It's, it's, it's my wife. It's, it's my wife. Just, hold on a minute. I got to turn down this music. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, all right, well, let me see. Yeah, I guess this is it here. Okay, no, I didn't get the note. Okay, well, let's see what it says here. Uh-huh, yes. Go to the bank, go to the post office. Pick up the ceiling tiles, right, okay. Return the movie, right. Pay the phone bill. Drop off the uh, dry cleaning, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I'll be back to you in a minute. Right, uh, rent the uh, rug shampooer. Oh, yeah, I'll get down there as soon as possible. Pick up the uh, photos. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. <laughs> what a hell of a show we got going for you today. Well, anyway, it's a, it's starting a semi-professional. You know, uh, uh, get your own show. That's what I'm saying. No, but really, you know, you watch TV, and I'm just, I'm sick of watching TV. That's why I'm doing the show, so that we could, like, where there's something different. It could go wrong. It could go right. God knows it could go anywhere we want. And the thing, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I kind of like about it. Because like, the TV is driving me crazy. Okay? Mostly, like, TV, like, it, it's... It, the news is getting silly with their background music while they're doing the news or as they're coming out of a break of a news bit. I mean, look, this is what I mean. Donald Sterling, owner of the Clippers, has just sidestepped a long dance back and forth. And instead of saying, I'm just going to go away, his wife wants the team, too. And she's caught up in tape saying that she doesn't want any Asian sluts attending the game. <laughs> No, 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 you're not. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> not yet. No. Anyway. That's what I'm saying. See, you know, the music goes with the <coughs> news uh, part. <laughs> An international news in the... Wait a minute. <laughs> In international news, Vladimir Putin is still massing troops outside the Ukraine borders, still sending thugs into cities and taking over buildings. The whole area is filled with... Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, the, the whole area is just filled with pipelines that go to the sea. Vlad the Impaler 
is apparently not taking no for an answer. No, of course not. See where I'm going with this? Right. <laughs> and the Malaysian jet is still missing. No clues. In sports, the whole NFL is a buzz about a video clip of Michael Sam, the first openly gay NFL player to be drafted, showing him kissing his partner. Yeah, have you seen it? Now well, that's a strong man. Right. No, That's right. You can stand me <laughs> Boy, this bit has to be edited, it doesn't it? <laughs> well, you could do this at home in your spare time. In entertainment news, we're told that Barbara Walters is retiring after all these years. What is she going to feel like on the first day? Barbara. Help. I need somebody. Help. Not just anybody. All right. Help. You know, I need someone. Help. Oh, poor old Barbara. When she was younger, so much younger than me. A boy of eight got into his mom's car and drove to a supermarket in California looking for her. He pulled up in front and stopped. The folks knew it wasn't her driving when they realized it was a perfect parallel parking job. <laughs> See that? They would play that music while uh, the newsmen were... And finally, Syria continues its civil war. Explosions all around the cities and people fighting to stay alive. Cut. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Sisters are we Let me walk with my brother In perfect harmony Let peace begin with me Let this be the moment now With every step I take Let this be my song of vow Take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. Yes, right, baby.
the Mark Dacey Show. Billy Willman, the house band. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Pat Baruki, our illustrious director. Thank you. Coming to you from the East Coast right here. BK Media, baby. Yeah, man. Adios, my friends. must My name is Tom Ragu of the Tom Ragu Sit Down Comedy Show. You can listen to us at the Broadband Box Office. And for more information, please visit www.tomragu.com slash podcast. Hi, I'm Randy Lupo, host of the Randy Lupo Show on Broadband Box Office. Wait, is that a tongue twister or an alliteration? Come meet my favorite people, comedians, actors, writers, spiritual people, and everyone in between. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Bob Gonzo of The Bob Gonzo Show. And I'm here to introduce The Bob Gonzo Show to you. Watch The Bob Gonzo Show on ComedyMondays.com and iTunes. Once again... ComedyMondays.com and iTunes. Watch it live or you can watch it on the archives, which means you can watch it forever. Bob Gonzo is the greatest show on the internet right now. It's the funniest, it's the sweetest, it's endearing. We have stand up comics, we have bands, we have actors, we have people in the fashion industry. We have everything you need. So, once again, the Bob Gonzo Show, the greatest show in the world. And if you watch it, you will become a better and happier and sweeter person. You, 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 you. Watch the Bob Gonzo show, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Lucy Senia. This is Lisa Descoli. And I'm Scott Manginelli. And we are the, the Greater, Greater Jersey, Jersey Buzz. Buzz, bringing you the finest entertainment, music, and talk. Listen to us the fourth Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m. On broadbandboxoffice.com. Bingo! <laughs>